The President and the Vice President have spent countless hours with families who have lost loved ones to the senseless violence. And they all say the same thing, do something. The Justice Department announces plans to close what's known as the gun show loophole. New rules require background screenings before anyone can buy guns online or in person at gun shows. The DOJ says the new rule will save lives and reduce American gun violence. CBS 4's Russ McQuay joins us live in our studio with a look at the requirements and what they might accomplish. Well, forever we've heard about the so-called gun show loophole, where guns are supposedly sold at temporary sites without background checks. The DOJ claims this new rule will close that loophole. At Indy Arms Company, they do it right and by the law, running background checks on all gun buyers. Name, address, um, uh, height, weight, gender, race, um, and then there's a whole series of questions that the purchaser answers regarding uh, legal issues, background, um, convictions, uh, all that sort of stuff that would look for anything that would be a disqualifier. The new federal regulation closes the so-called gun show loophole, where it's believed guns are sold without paperwork or background checks. Under this regulation, it will not matter if guns are sold on the internet, at a gun show, or at a brick and mortar store. If you sell guns predominantly to earn a profit, you must be licensed and you must conduct background checks. Most checks come back okay within a matter of minutes or may be delayed less than a week pending more investigation or in rare cases are actually turned down altogether. And we know that many thousands occur each year. Now, there's estimates that this will affect about 23,000 uh, dealers that are currently unlicensed. and. I think it will have a substantial impact because currently about 22% of Americans, according to research, say that they've acquired their most recently purchased firearm without a background check. But illegal buyers or persons who don't want the government to know they own guns will still find ways around the new rule. We don't have firearm registration, and so it's impossible to track person-to-person -person sales that go on, if they go on on a personal basis, if you come over to my house, I'll, you know, and, and I sell you something, um, how is the federal government going to know that? By requiring more gun sellers to become licensed dealers, the DOJ hopes that will force more background checks to be conducted. Reporting live in the studio, Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News. Russ, thank you.